Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm gonna go over this new development, Google's new AI, Maggie, 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 I, I, I don't know how to pronounce the thing, but I'm gonna talk about it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Though there is no clear launch timeline, Google may begin testing Maggie, Maggie, you guys get, when I, when I say Maggie, whatever it is. Bro, what are you talking about, man? as soon as next month, with no plans to expand access to 30 million users by year's end. Google's AI rush, uh, Maggie is a part of a broad initiative at Google to rapidly launch AI-powered products and add AI features to existing products in order to protect its market share against competitors who were earlier out of the gate with their own offerings. According to the Times, Google created a number of AI task forces to prototype products in a panic after word that Samsung might choose Microsoft's Bing to replace Google as its default search engine. No way. That switch would represent a 3 billion with a B loss for Google, made especially concerning by a similar 20 B billion contract with Apple ending this year. In the last two years, there have also been rumblings that Apple may develop its own search engine for iOS. Google has launched its own AI chatbot called Bard and has promised to introduce AI features into existing products like Gmail, Google Drive, and more. So what would it look like? Maggie is still in the early, early stages, but the, but the Times report suggests that Google is attempting to build a search engine that preempts uh, what consumers need in addition to several other AI products and features for Chrome. Some features that may eventually launch will likely be tested in existing products first. Among the working products are a chatbot that can write code. Hmm, that's a biggie. Introducing AI to Google Earth, a music search chatbot, a language learning tool, an AI image generator, and a research assistant chatbot, among others. Regardless of which specific features end up in Maggie itself, Google is aiming to create a highly personalized service that can anticipate user needs by showing suggested products and research topics. Adapting the ad business. So here is where uh, there's a great re revenue opportunity, income opportunity for these big companies. Google offering a new search engine is an earth-shaking big deal. Google is the premier access point to the internet for many and a staggering 141 billion of its projected global revenues of 170 billion will come from search. Already there are concerns about how AI powered search could affect not just Google's ad revenues, but internet companies at large. The argument is that if AI services results quickly or at the top of the results page, ad purchases will be buried and sites will lose out on revenues from clicks. But documents obtained by the Times show that advertising is top of mind for Google. Searches on Maggie, Maggi, whatever, would still re feature ad replacements and uh, recommended products, and that code writing chatbot may display ads underneath its results to name two examples. So what do you think about this story? Uh, do you think that there is a big threat that AI poses to big big corporations in terms of ads revenue. I want to know your opinion. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.